Good snipers believe that it is necessary to kill the enemy with one shot. But Ivan Nikolaevich Kolbertinov thought otherwise. During the Great Patriotic War he invented a way to first draw the enemy out and then destroy more enemy soldiers. Thus he became one of the most effective snipers of World War II. Ivan Kolbertinov was born in Yakutia, by nationality he was Evank. His father was a good hunter, his family hardly needed anything. But he died early, so the eldest son Kolya had to take care of the family. Ivan's brother had already gone hunting with his father, he began to teach him the business. The brothers could not go to school and were engaged in subsistence hunting. Their mother was constantly sick, and there was not much work in those days. When Ivan grew up, he began working at a collective farm, where in addition to hunting he was engaged in reindeer herding. Sending to the front when the war began, Nikolai Kolbertinov went to the front. But after a few months there was a knock at the house of his mother and younger brother and the family was told that Nikolai had been killed. Then Ivan could no longer stay at home, he went to the enlistment office. There he was considered a promising sniper, sent for training and did not fail. Ivan Nikolaevich got to the front in 1943. Near Storia Rusa he shot his first enemy, and after that the number of Hitlerites he killed only grew. The sniper learned quickly, he found his own approach and used techniques that helped him in the hunt. Kolbertinov said that it is not necessary to imitate others. It is important to use your full potential, find your own techniques, constantly change position and come up with new types of camouflage. Ivan also advised his students to go to the Germans' rear. Use the needle, not the axe. Thanks to this motto Ivan became one of the most effective snipers. He believed that it was necessary to apply only the right amount of force and in the right place. Kolbertinov was very patient and knew how to wait for his chance. Once Ivan lay in ambush for several days, applying his tactics. He noticed that the Germans had brought up a lot of ammunition, but the sniper did not fire. He waited until they were all unloaded and more Germans approached the wagon train. Then he pulled the trigger. The armor-piercing incendiary round flew straight into the target. At least 10 Hitlerites were killed. In his memoirs he called what he saw, the Northern Lights. The Germans were very much afraid of the Soviet sniper. Once in a pocket of the killed enemy they found a letter. In it the Hitler complained that the shooter was constantly tracking them and did not allow even to leave the dugout for food. The German sniper. One day Ivan was approached by his commander Dyatlov. He told him that the enemy had an experienced shooter on the front line, who took the lives of many Red Army men. Kolbertinov promised that he would deal with and destroy the enemy. The hunter's experience helped him track down the German, the Soviet sniper later recounted. As the dew appeared in the morning, if you fire your rifle, a cloud of smoke appears. The German was well camouflaged, but it did not save him. One morning Kolbertinov saw this very signal, the Hitler gave himself away, and the sniper recorded one more killed enemy to his personal account. Throughout the war Kolbertinov killed almost 500 Germans, 487, and became one of the most productive snipers of World War II. Commanders twice sent a request to Moscow to make Ivan a hero of the Soviet Union. He never received the highest award, but he was awarded 12 other insignia, including the Order of the Red Banner. Returning home, after the war, Kolbertinov was given a personal rifle with the inscription, Best Sniper, Ivan returned to Yakutia, took up hunting again and worked at the Dmitrovsky State Farm. He took care of his family, had a daughter and a son, and then his grandchildren came. Ivan Nikolaevich died in 1993. In his hometown of Olekminsk, Sokka Republic, it was decided to name a street in honor of the experienced hunter and legendary sniper. 